Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry. Alright everyone, I decided to give in and spin my Wormite. We are going for it today and let the record show this is a horrible idea. As a free to play player, thinking strategically, thinking long term, Cerise has very little importance to me. She's not going to be helpful for me on High Midgard Swarmer because I don't even have Agni or Cerberus that are going to give her that HP she needs to survive. She's not really going to do anything for me. But she's one of the only characters I really like from the story. I'm not a huge Sethia fan. I like Sethia. But Cerise is my favorite. And I'm here with Cerise and Melsa for that good luck. Better together. That's the way it's got to turn out today. I've got to get her to go alongside Melsa. This is, once again, very ill-advised. Only 12,000 Wormite left. Obviously, we spent a lot in my first summoning video, and we didn't get her. We got a lot of new 4 stars, a new 5 star adventurer, some duplicates. And I stand by my advice from the first video that mostly you're going to get Eldwater from this. And a lot of 5 stars, but if you already have been playing for a while, most of those aren't going to be new to you, and a lot of them are going to be worm prints. But I still think for the foreseeable future, this is my best chance to get Cerise. This is my favorite character right now. I really want to get her. And so that is why I am here summoning today against the odds. If we pull it out, it is pure luck right now. So here we go with our first tenfold summon. We are going down to zero potentially today. Or we'll stop if we can't reset our pity rate. But this already no five star is not a great start. I just think that this is going to be my best chance at getting her, honestly, because even on the next Gala, there's no guarantee she's going to be at 0.5%. She might even be lower than that. So maybe in the future there'll be some kind of purchasable thing that's automatic. Maybe we get another Together We Stand. That's also kind of nice. But as for now, as a free-to-play player, you do kind of just have to save up and amass a lot of Wormite and spend it for someone you really want. Now the thing is, I'm in a fortunate position where for content, I don't really need any character. I could use dragons. That's the one thing I'm really lacking. But I'm kind of good on content for a while. So this will mean if we have to go and spend all our Wormite right now. Nice, we actually got a Phoenix. Third Unbind on Phoenix. But if we have to spend all our Wormite right now, I'm not going to get to summon on a lot of the upcoming showcases because I'm just going to have to save up yet again and amass a lot to get a character I really want. Phoenix could also be used to let Cerise survive High Midgard Swarmer, but then the damage output might be too low. Get a 5 star here. Please be a bow. Is it a worm print? Yep. That 3% rate, guys. It's high. Juggernaut. So we have a Max Unbound Juggernaut. So this guy, most likely going to be Eldwater for me. Cinder Drake. Yeah, I think for a lot of players, I would imagine if you don't care about Cerise, this is an easy skip. Unless you are a new player and you just want any five stars. This, wow, this has got to be a bad sign. I just spoke ill of Zethia earlier in the video. And now we get Auspex's Prayer, which is... Pretty bad worm prints, kind of good on a helper unit with its full HP equals healing. Kicking back. At least it has that artwork of Luca, but... Oh, I was going to say, but Luca is not the sibling we want here, and then look who we get. Okay, maybe this will turn it around. We have her artwork. We just need to get the character. This worm print, unfortunately... Honestly, it's actually not that bad when I look at it. Vixel and Verica have full HP healing, and they're good healers. But as a whole package, I think it's better to have Cleo's Ruse or um, Give Me Your Wounded. This is nice for helpers, though, because they always come into the match with full HP. We only have 9,000 left, so we're going down to the wire here. This is enough. If we do one more on top of this 9,000 to guarantee a 5-star. 
So we might actually get to that point if we don't get a five star in any of these. At least we're getting a lot of four stars. Maybe we'll get a lucky transformation. We're gonna get a dragon. That's probably the highlight, two dragons. And some worm prints. The wand, I'm pretty sure at this point is gonna be a duplicate. Yep, it's a Climbin. Orion. One with the shadows, which we reached our final unbinding of in the previous session. So that will probably be sold for Elswater, because maybe I'll hang on to it actually for now. Linworm, our second unbinding of Linworm. Maybe I'll hang on to it for now until we get What's Ahead Part 2. Warlust, I wonder, is this my second copy or is that new? And we get a second copy of Ifrit. So slowly working our way up to three copies where he will surpass my Pele and happier times. So nothing new this circle in the end, but we do get an unbind on two of our strength four star dragons, which is pretty good. Here we go. Man, this is really bad. I was, uh, I was a whale in Fire Emblem Heroes. I walked the path of the whale, so I've been there before, and that's why I've tried to stick to my free-to-play reforms lifestyle with Dragalia Loss, but they're making it hard with this 0.5% base rate for Cerise. Now, I don't plan to spend any money and really go ham for Cerise, though, but it is really tempting. If there's, like, a way to get her for sure in the future, and I don't get her today, I might look at it. <laughs> this is just so perfect, isn't it? The troll worm print with Cerise. But at least I get to upgrade the artwork on it. And that Vojinoi is my second unbinding, I believe, on my... Existing Vojinoi, getting closer to High Brunhilda territory, but I do have a Jean that I'm using my Sunlight Stones on. Whoa! Come on. Is this Max Unbound or we won away? I forgot. This actually means my Verica is super viable now, though. Whoa, okay, we're gonna check that afterward. Come on. Should be a five star here. Let's see that change into a rainbow. Oof. Oof. Major oof, as Shishimai would say. Maybe that uh, sphere will be Ryozin. Ryozin is one of the four stars I don't have. Let's skip through these three stars. So I honestly think this is how a lot of players summon in this game. And it's definitely a situation where do as I say, not as I do, because this is super greedy. Like, this is maximum greed. We got Pia. Pia is really adorable. This is way too greedy if you were a free-to-play player. Like, if you see Ieyasu and you think he's cool, well, if you're not coming in with, like, 30 to 50k Wormite, you just can't let yourself get super attached to these characters. Fresh perspective is nice. And that's the trap I fell into. I let myself... <laughs> this is so poetic. I let myself get too attached to Cerise. Fresh perspective is new. This is a really consistent four-star damage dealing Worm Prince because both of these abilities are good. But of course, when the AI is in control, they're not going to use four strikes. And this is actually not a great Worm Print, but here we have it. Maybe Poison Res will actually be kind of good against the new uh, circus themed enemies we're down to our final three tenfolds here and what's it gonna be wow only one and no five star so we're gonna check our pity rate after this what is that going to be it's about oh i was hoping for that transformation that hurts. So this is all pretty much Eldwater at this point because I have all the three-star adventurers since we got Vice last video. And I have all of the three-star dragons. 
And I have a Max Unbound Dragon's Nest, which was the one worm print I was really working on. Okay, so the bow is Ron. Ron is a new one. We only are missing like Carl, Ryozin. We're missing only a few of the four stars now. Ron has Poison Res, so this could also be good for the upcoming event. Let's look at the details. Fiend Crush, Critter Slayer. They both deal damage. This one, I believe, can provide a debuff. And Striker's Strength, unfortunately, is kind of hard to use on an Archer. But it is good in any map where there's lots of enemies, so that challenge battle that's coming up could feature that. And then I think one of Ron's skills must inflict stun. I don't remember which one does which, but because he has stun punisher, kind of rare, honestly, on a four star. But let's go back and check our pity rate. We're down to our final two tenfolds. This is actually looking very bad. Five star rate is at 8%. So if we go one more time, let me check. Essentially, this started at 6%, so we've gotten this increased four times. So if we go both of our next summons, we'll be at that automatic pity breaker. That could happen here, and then I'm not going to even have... I'm going to probably use a single to break my pity rate. Here we go. Wow. Wow. No rainbow there. Are we going to get a transformation? Okay, we got a dragon. What? Well, that's going to do it for our pity rate, but that is a new and really good five-star Hildegard. Now I have to ask myself, do I just gamble and throw away 1,500 Wormite? All right, if we didn't mub our phoenix before, we definitely did now. Hildegard, huh? Well, Hildegard is good. I really can't complain. I got Xander, Azalith, and Hawk on the previous summoning session. And now we get another OG 5-star and only my second light 5-star. Hildegard. Probably the best healer in the game. She is way up there. I do have a Max Unbound Unicorn that I can use with her. Radiant Savior, Sacred Guardian. These shields are actually really good. It's something I definitely underestimated. This is one of the slowest charging skills in the game. But the thing is, Hildegard has skill prep that goes up to 100%. And then because she's a 5-star, she gets her third ability, you know, without needing any promotion or anything. And this provides a lot of extra healing. So Hildegard is very powerful. But it seems like we're not going to get Cerise. Unfortunately. Oh, but Hildegard. That's okay. So we have one tenfold left. What are we going to do? Are we feeling lucky? Let's look at the collection for a moment. Going into the collection. Actually, we're going to go to the upgrade screen because that will let us look at unbinding easier. So for Phoenix, yeah, we actually mubbed our Phoenix and have one left over, which is pretty crazy. It's uncommon to mub these units, even when they're unfocused, but we've just picked them up over time by playing the game a lot. So now my Verica is suddenly super viable in High Midgard Stormer, if she wasn't already. And we get an binding on Ifrit. That's the one at level 1. This one's at level 30, so we're going to unbind. Generally speaking, I like to unbind fully all the dragons that I have. And then, except for the 3 stars, and then I'll sell additional copies. So I'll probably sell that extra phoenix. This original is getting its second unbinding. Man, I, I am pretty sure Like if we just spend that 1500, we are essentially just throwing away... 1500 Wormite, which is not good. But why do I want to? Why do I feel like Cerise could be hiding behind that tenfold? It's unfortunate. Hopefully you guys can overcome that 
attachment you feel toward characters when you really don't need them from a gameplay perspective. And maybe if I had done that on Ieyasu Showcase or Cleo Showcase, I would be in a better position for this character I care a lot about, Cerise. At least we're going to get to upgrade the artwork on Together We Stand. Nice. That looks pretty cool. And we got Hildegard too. Like, we got a lot of stuff. So, Auspex's Prayer, I'm not going to unbind yet. I'm not unbinding with these five-star worm prints that I have duplicates of because I really don't see it as being super valuable in the short term. And maybe in the long term, it'd be better to have them separate for fodder. But how appropriate that we get to fully unbind this, largely due to our summoning today. Maybe I should have clarified that I wanted Gala Cerise and not Cerise Worm Prince, huh? But there, doesn't she look a little bit happier in that picture? Okay, I'm just going to stay on the screen for a moment and try to channel this good feeling, these warm vibes that are coming off of this artwork. And see if we can utilize that to our advantage. Here we go. This is my last summoning I will probably do for like five months. So let's savor it. Let's see what we get. And it's just going to be a four star. It was a bad idea. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this summoning video, everyone. I appreciate you all joining me today. Let's see what four stars we get. Of course, we aren't going to get Cerise. And that is a little sad, but at the end of the day, I didn't have enough Wormite to give myself a realistic chance of summoning Cerise. So I went... Well, I think it's fair to say I overextended or went pretty hard for her. There she is in the background too. Look at that, man. She is showing up everywhere, but as an adventurer today. But hopefully this will be a lesson to all of you as well. I know a lot of people see my videos and think my luck is crazy. And I get really good luck for adventurers sometimes, but still, no amount of luck will let you overcome the low likelihood of pulling a specific character, even on a showcase like this. So if you were thinking, this is a really great opportunity that all that 6% is on Cerise. It is not all on Cerise. The majority of it is on other types of things. So just keep that in mind. Now, of course, we've created a pity rate on this. So if we are able to break this before the showcase ends, I will consider doing it. The most likely chance of that would be through some type of compensation or maybe getting enough for five singles and then using all 10 of these. But realistically, this is a short showcase. So this is going to be it for quite a long time, everyone. I wish you luck, as always, with your own summoning. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. What's up, everyone? I am back. I have more single summon vouchers now that we got our compensation. I'm slowly building my Wormite collection back up by viewing some adventurer stories and the dragon stories for Ifrit. So we are in here today, hopefully, to be able to reset our pity raid so at least we can leave with a good feeling, a good conscious, a clean slate, start over, start rebuilding, and here we go. We're going to do some single summons. Hopefully we can reset that pity rate. I think that I've gotten to a point where I feel comfortable with the fact Cerise is unlikely to come home. At least we're going to get a four star right away. And it's going to be a worm print. Let's take a look. Castaway's journal. Eric there. It's going to be pretty good in the future if we get our dual worm print system. Now I am recording this part after What's Ahead Part 2 has come out. So I have a little bit more information. And realistically, just like with any showcase, I probably should have waited for that information before going ham on, uh, on the original day of the showcase. There we have Winds of St. Latier. But I'm feeling optimistic right now. 
Realistically, we are unlikely to get Cerise, but there's a good chance, a decent chance that we'll be able to reset our pity rate. So hopefully we can do that today. And I also put forward a question to all of you about whether you feel comfortable with me spending money on the game. I appreciate all the thoughtful answers. I think that created a nice discussion. And a lot of you said, ultimately it's about my happiness and it's my game, so I should do what I want. So there is a possibility I'll buy the $10 Dragon Unbinding Pack because I think that is a super nice value. You're guaranteed something. You guarantee that unbinding on a dragon that you like. So that is in consideration for me. And if we aren't able to reset our pity rate today, maybe that will be how we do so. But I think that the overall discussion was really good. And the feedback you provided, I, I thought about it a lot. There are things that I could have access to that would allow me to create more types of content. Or even just stuff like more mana would be nice because I want to build a lot of different types of characters. I want to be able to play and make videos about lots of different types of characters. And sometimes mana or champion's testaments are limiting factors. But I really appreciate all of your feedback on that. So, so far, nothing yet. We are really down to our last bit of resources. There's our five star. Oof, we're gonna get our pity rate reset. And it's actually gonna be a dragon. Not a bad way to end things off. Regular Jeanne d'Arc. And this is my first copy of her. I have been building up the water version of her and have one unbinding right now and nine sunlight ore, so close to that second unbinding. But this is the right stopping point, for sure. I mean, we are past the right stopping point, but look, Jean is really cool looking. Jean is really cool looking. And the fact that we got Hildegard earlier in this video, perfect combination. Even though I have my Max Unbound Unicorn, Jean is amazing. 40% is still a lot of HP, and he becomes 60% if we're ever able to Max Unbind her. I feel so relieved that we got something, and she's new, so we're going to be able to get 50 Wormite from her as well. Appearance rate reset. Sorry, Cerise, but... Until the next gala, maybe we'll see you then. It would be pretty crazy if Cerise shows up on the next gala and she is a four star character because it says the star number and appearance rates may differ from those show now. If she shows up and she's a four star, that would be amazing because it means I had a good chance or I would have a potentially good chance of getting her in the future. But that is the future for now. I hope that you enjoyed the summoning video. I know that this is the first time I've really gone and really focused in on one character. So I hope that you understand. I, I do appreciate and try to appreciate as much as I can everything I get and the luck that I've gotten in this game. That is one of the reasons why I will likely make a purchase in the game and probably buy this dragon pack just to show my support to the devs because this is a really good value. For $10, it's not quite enough to be able to do a full tenfold, but it is still a nice value with this, guaranteed. So that is something I'm looking at, but I'll let you know what I decide to do. Thank you so much for watching once again. Take care, and I'll see you next time.